getting excited because we have a special guest in the studio this morning, Jennifer from Impact Compassion Center. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Hi, Good. Jennifer. Get right up to that yeah. microphone. Oh, yeah, don't be don't shy. Don't be shy. So uh, we started this program called Key Cares. And, Key Cares, and yes. we want to take each and every month to spotlight um, lesser-known nonprofit organizations that are here in the Tri-Cities. And it's our first month of trying it out, so this is our little beta test. And luckily, uh, Jennifer said, I'll be the guinea pig. I'll come in and talk about my wonderful charity, which is Impact Compassion Center. You guys are located in Kennewick on Dayton Street, right? We are, 9 South Dayton Street. Okay, so um, and explain what Impact Compassion Center does. Sure. We are a nonprofit 501c3. We are a faith-based agency uh, based in downtown Kennewick on uh, 9 South Kennewick Avenue. I'm sorry, Dayton Street down on Kennewick Avenue. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we really uh, look at, try to look at the deep-rooted issues in our community, build awareness of what those real-time issues are uh, so that community is more aware of what's going on. We try to connect people with the resources that are out there. We spent years finding and gathering all, together all the resources that are there so that more, we are more familiar with what's going out there, what resources are available to connect people to them. When um, you we say have, resources, mm-hmm. you right, mean right, like, right. let's say for counseling or homelessness, those sort of things? Gosh, everything. Anything from parenting education to veterans programs to utility assistance, housing aid, uh, uh, gathering, you know, for veterans, we work with domestic violence, human trafficking. Um, gosh, just in, the sky's the limit. Uh, where do you go for health insurance? Where do you go for child care? Uh, Where do you go if you're looking for work or you can't find employment, you're underemployed? Where do you go for benefits? Where do you go if you've got health care issues and you don't know how to address your health care issues, but it's affecting uh, affecting work? Basically, it's for anyone who is struggling in life that really does not know where to go for help, has tried various things and is hitting walls, hitting barriers, and kind of stuck, and it's overwhelming. So no matter how they try, what resources they're familiar with, they're just not getting to where they're needing to go and it's causing a significant impact in their life. And you said there's people like that, let's say you're employed, let's say people in our own building right here in, in the radio station that don't want to approach anybody when they're having a life struggle because they're you know embarrassed or ashamed of, you know, people say, oh, they got their life together and then you discover they don't. And so your you know, Impact Compassion Center is a place they can go and say, hey, I'm really struggling with this or this or this. And, yes. and it's a free open, you know. Absolutely, and, and that's the nice thing is that I think in general, what I've noticed in being in, in the field of social, social services and counseling is that we all have needs. We all struggle at some point in our life. Um, and a lot of us uh, are really good at covering it, putting on a good facade that everything is fine, we're all doing great, we're strong, mm-hmm. we're independent, and I think it kind of contributes to the problem a little bit. One thing that's kind of nice is whether it is ourselves, whether it is a loved one, a coworker, someone that we know in a church or whatever it may be, if they're struggling and you don't know how to help them, you can send them down to our agency because we work with everybody who is struggling. We don't have any limits as far as who we can see. If somebody needs help, they are welcome there. We have people that come off the streets and we have people that are uh, business owners. Owners, and mm-hmm. everyone in between, we have very young and we have very old okay. uh, coming in there. And we just sit down, we sort through what their issues, what their needs are. We kind of figure out a plan. We problem solve it. We prioritize it, figure out some goals, figure out direction, help them to navigate whatever the system, the resources are, problem solve, get them connected with all the different resources that are specific to their needs, okay. and kind of get them going in, in the right way. We try to give Love them some that. life stabilization skills and help them to move forward in life. Well, I'm glad we had you as our first yeah, guest. I love so this. That's yeah. really, that's, you know, that's wonderful. That's very necessary. Uh, some of the services I, I know in the Tri-Cities are kind of limited. We're a bigger city now, but a lot of things have, haven't come like bigger cities have, I've noticed. Yes, so yes. with groups yes. like yourself, that, that will help, um, you know, get those kind of services well, absolutely. going. absolutely. And that's a big part of what we're trying to do is just to build awareness of what the real-time needs are. So it gives people um, kind of a, a foundation to come to. So on our Facebook, we have a huge Facebook group. It's kind of an interactive mm-hmm. platform for our community to have be basically it's community looking after community and kind of creating a community um, and, and, and a culture in itself mm-hmm. and saying, hey, this is a place you can go to if you need life guidance, resource information, just need encouragement, need to know where to go for the resources. And it's bringing our community together as the resource itself, pointing them in the right direction, giving them encouragement and feedback. Um, donations come in on, we match people real-time needs with real-time gifters wow. in our community to help solve some of those needs where the community may have some, we may have some gaps in our resources. Okay. And just building awareness of those resources. Most people do not know 
most of the nonprofits that are out there, there is a huge amount of resources, but there are also some big gaps, and we need to know where are those resources, how they can help our community, mm-hmm. plug them in. We want to I noticed a, there was a young gal yes. on your uh, Facebook page the other day that said that she was homeless and all of her clothing was stolen, and she needed clothing. She yes. needed how much clothing do I have sitting in a bag oh, right goodness, now that yes. I need to donate? I goodness, mean, I have yes. a bag of it. So yes. this is somewhere where I could even go for a resource to say, hey, I would like to donate this somewhere where it's going to go to someone that really needs it, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, and the things that we oftentimes take for granted, you know, we accumulate all kinds of goods, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, for us, it's really not much of anything. For others, those basic, basic essentials are our treasures. So. Okay, so it's um, tri- uh, Impact Tri-Cities Compassion Center, uh, 9 South Dayton Street in Kennewick. Phone number is 509-851-1720, and I'll be putting a post up on our website so people can get to you. Fantastic. Plus, they get to hear from you all month long on the key. Wonderful. So, right. Wonderful. Exactly. Wonderful. exactly. <laughs> so once again, Impact Compassion Center, love what you do, Jennifer. Thanks for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate being, you. Being part invitation. of the show today. And once again, if you are that person feeling that way, reach out. They're, yes. they're there for you. And once again, don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Don't do any of that. Absolutely. If you need help, ask for it. Absolutely. And it's going to be given. So Absolutely. Jennifer from Impact Compassion Center, thanks for coming in and talking with us. Thank 825 you. now, today's best music.